Do you people have any idea what this is? This is child neglect. This is working all day trying to figure out how to get X10 to work with smart things and how your kid sits there and he just wants to go out to eat, Dad. I just want to go out to eat. I just want a little bit of food. Can I have some food, Pop? No, son. I got to learn coding and all this other crap and fly around the moon 72 times to try to get my old X10. Stop working with smart things because I do love my new Z-Wave stuff, but I do love my old X10 stuff. Right now, I'm going to apologize because we so broke from spending all this money on Z-Wave, I don't have any money for a good microphone. So I already know it sounds like crap. Okay? Comment below if it sounds like crap. I don't know what to do. Subscribe, and then I'll get rich, and then I'll buy, like, a headset or something, or a microphone. Okay, but you're here to learn how X10, actually in 2017, there's an easy way, fairly easy way, that does not involve this crap behind my face, okay? It doesn't involve getting into command prompt and all this other crap that I don't know, okay? You Google it. Google smart things in X10. And guess what? Let me shrink my little face here. And look what you'll find. You'll see I've read all these articles. They're all purple. And I'm trying to find something. I'm watching videos. I'm going, just like you. If you, you're even looking at this, you have my same problem. And then you go, it's like, oh, obsolete. Look at this, obsolete. Oh, it's from 2014. It's like, can somebody help me, please? And I'm here to tell you. But that lamp right back there, it works with X10, and I'm going to show it to you, and I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Then I'm probably going to miss something. So comment below and tell me what I missed, and I'll make another video because you'll probably be the only one commenting, and I'll make a video and show you exactly how I did it. How I missed it. Okay, first things first. The magic, the magic is something called trigger command or trigger cmd is a website trigger cmd zoom up pause the video take a look at it go here learn how to do it install it okay yes it's not quite approved by smart things yet so you have to copy and paste the code in here then you have to hit publish and uh it's you know if you've ever done that before you need a developer account for this some kind of smart things developer account I looked it up because if you don't have these options up here, then you're like me. And I was like, what's going on? Why are these guys making a video? And I don't have those options. Somehow I made it a developer account. I think it's a developer account. It's some sort of advanced smart things account. Google it. It wasn't too bad. And I just copied and pasted this in and I hit publish. And then I put publish for me and it, it was in there. And then I could see it in my device things. And I had to go into my device handlers. And I think I put one more thing in here and uh, copied and pasted this and hit publish here. It wasn't that, that bad at all. So, put it in smart things, and lo and behold, it's it's there. And another thing that I had to do is I, since this thing controls it, this trigger thing, I had to make virtual switches in smart things. And there's videos out there, I'll even make one if you are entertained by me and you say, make. A video on how to do virtual switches and smart things then I'll do it okay okay here we go so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at the next but Let, let's let's uh, look at the next thing that you need so you need trigger command or trigger CMD and you need X10 commander I found the website called mellowware.com X10 commander you're looking at it right on the screen I'm going to move my little self. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I moving? Okay, so over here, I just put it on my Windows PC because I use a Windows PC. I love it. I get Windows 10. And I put Active Home Drivers, and then I put the uh, X10 Commander Server. I put it on, and it just seems to work. Okay, so it popped on there. I plugged in my old uh, CM... 1 115A. If you don't have one and you got to extend stuff, get something like that. I think it works with a couple of these other things. So, anyways, that's what I've got. I plugged it in and the th stinking thing worked. I all I this doesn't actually just so you know this X10 commander does not 
um, send any commands by itself. It can receive commands. I, I take it it's a server for your cell phone. You can download the app and control it with your cell phone. It's five bucks to download the app uh, for the cell phone. This one, part of it's free. I didn't download the cell phone app. Sorry, I was more interested in automating it with smart things. But I used this. Worked right out of the box, I guess you could say. Plugged it in. It recognized it. So what this does, to be able to get commands on that, this over here, get commands over there into this thing. So it talks to my computer. Look how good I am at this. Talks to my computer down here, and then it sends it out to my little module thing through my house wires, and then it turns on that lamp over there. The way that works is you can open a web browser and you can literally just type in the right web address. Look at this thing up here. This is the actual code um, on the uh, that I put into the trigger command. Okay, So when I put this into the trigger command, it just fires this off. And it opens up a web browser. And the worst thing about this whole thing so far, and, and I'm gonna, I've been emailing the, the guy who did uh, trigger command, and I'm going to see if he can get it to stop opening up so many tabs. Maybe it opens up one tab and it keeps filling in the same tab. Because every time I do this, it uh, opens a new tab. But, oh well, it's working and it's awesome. I'll close some tabs once a day. Um, probably could write a script for that. I've got a little thing. I learned how to write script. I don't know what I'm doing, but I did that. So, another video. Tell me if you want me to make it. I will. It sends this command. Now watch this. If I change this little thing to off, okay, it's A1 off. Anybody familiar? I just hit that. I'm sending it through the web thing. Oh, I, sorry. <laughs> I left on in there. Like, that should have worked. So embarrassing. I just hit off, and I go... Why isn't it working? Let's go back. Let's go back to on. I, I missed. Oh, I took the 20 out. This is stuff you just learned. I'm sorry, but there you go. Now I turned it off. And I can change that to on. And then and it turns it back on. I don't know why my camera just zooms around. I, I don't even know how it does that. Sorry if it's making you motion sick. Okay. So there we go. That's what's going in. That talks to uh, the uh, X10 commander. And once that talks to it, it just turns this on and off. It's pretty cool. So I made smart things talk to it by using this trigger CMD. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on my phone. All right. This is an emulator I downloaded that I don't need. But I'm glad I have it now because now I can show you what my phone looks like. But somebody's solution was download an emulator and get it to send you an email. Da 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 da. Use if if that this then that. And I'm like, what? Okay, I I'm pretty savvy, but not very savvy, you know. So here's what it looks like on my phone. I need to clean these up and make these uh, maybe just say lamp, living room lamp, or whatever. I did a switch for one for on and one for off, and uh, this is the on one, but of course it's already on. There it pops up the uh, thing, and uh, there you go. And then I do the off one, and it turns it off. You can see that in the background, and it, it works. I mean, it works pretty quick. I mean, I, bam, bam, and I can do this on my smartphone, and it works really good. So X10 is here for smart things. Comment if you want to know more. I'm just, I'm low on blood sugar. I don't have enough food in me. This is Bubba's Reviews. It was my nickname when I was a child. And if I do things a little bit redneckish, the name fits. Okay. Here's uh, this happy boy over here who's really happy. Yeah, we're going to eat finally. Yeah. And he's, you know what, we're going to do this. The one thing I'm so happy about is. I have these big appliance modules, and I've got two space heaters because it's starting to get cold. I got two space heaters, but they need you know heavy duty appliance modules, and I can now use them with this. And in you know when the temperature goes up and down, I can actually warm this kid's room, and he won't have to sleep so cold anymore because just the way our house is designed, it's kind of a three level thing, and it 
his room, the room's on the end, the one over the garage is, gets kind of cold. So this will fire it up automatically. I trust the old X10 appliance modules to not burn my house down. I don't know if I've seen it. If you've got a good idea on some Z-Wave ones that can handle a lot of juice, like my old appliance modules, and also I'm going to hook up my old stuff for my fan. Look at this old X10 thing. This, this thing, just so you know, if you have some fans and you've been worried about putting it on, um, you find one of these old X10. I'm trying to see what the name of this one is. Um, but you can use it for your fans and everything else. Um, it's model XPS3. I don't know if that'll show on there. But this is something I can use for fans. I'm having a tough time finding anything I trust, uh, you know, for Z-Wave to control high power stuff. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Comment. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm learning a lot of this stuff, and uh, I like to keep it pretty simple, and I don't like to code a lot. I do copy and paste, and that's great. Okay, see you later.